The space between stars holds an array of vibrant clouds. Clouds that command our attention. Clouds that create spectacular displays. Clouds that seem familiar, tenuous, and fragile. Clouds that hold clues to star birth and death. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope has imaged hundreds of them in extraordinary detail. These vast swirls of gas and dust get their name from the Latin word nebula, meaning cloud or mist. Nebulae is the plural of nebula, and they come in a wide range of shapes, sizes, and forms. Emission nebulae are some of the most spectacular. These opaque, gleaming clouds of gas and dust radiate, or emit, their own light. Ultraviolet light from nearby stars energizes atoms in the cloud. When the excited atoms lose that energy, they release the light that gives emission nebulae their glow. The Orion Nebula is one of the most famous emission nebulae. Its core, called the trapezium, holds four enormous young stars whose ultraviolet light powers the region's intense glow. The Carina Nebula is another vast emission nebula and star-forming region in our galaxy. Within the nebula is a pillar three light years tall, dubbed Mystic Mountain. It cloaks massive young stars, some with jets emerging from the cloud. Hubble's infrared view cuts through the shroud of gas and dust, revealing these radiant jewels. Reflection nebulae shine by the reflected or scattered light of nearby stars. They often have a bluish color because the dust grains in the clouds scatter blue light more efficiently than red light. Not all nebulae shine brightly. Dark or absorption nebulae are inky black clouds of gas and dust that block the light coming from objects behind them. Because they are dark, absorption nebulae are hard to find. We only see them as silhouettes against a much brighter region of space. Most large nebulae are a combination of emission, reflection, and absorption nebulae. Their dark dust lanes may give birth to new stars that provide the light needed to illuminate the cloud. Planetary nebulae are a type of emission nebula powered by a small to medium-sized dying star. As these stars run out of fuel, they periodically blow off their outer layers. The expelled gas expands outward away from the star, forming a bubble or shell around the star. Sometimes, the envelope of debris holds clumps of dense gas that shine like the gems of a necklace. The term planetary nebula is misleading. It comes from late 18th century astronomers who thought their rounded shape looked similar to planets and telescopes of that time. They named them planetary nebulae as a result. Supernova remnants are the diffuse clouds of expanding debris released by a massive star's death explosion. The Cygnus Loop is a vast, expanding, 110 light-year-wide supernova remnant. It is so large that Hubble can only image small sections of it at a time. Some supernova remnants emit their light from a shell of shocked material. Others, like the Crab Nebula, emit most of their light from within the expanding shell. And still other supernova remnants shine as a combination of the two. Nebulae are some of the most resplendent objects in the universe, and thanks to the Hubble Space Telescope, we can study them in all of their magnificent forms. <laughs>